Yo, let's go! Good morning from your boy, the Mad Backer, coming at you with another episode of The Morning Drive, here to make your commute to work just a tad bit easier as we talk all things New York Jets. Now, we are creeping up on the NFL draft. Free agency is pretty much over for New York. They're probably going to do some depth signings, release some veterans, things like that. But our attention is fully on the 2022 NFL Draft. And I'm going to present to you a mini mock draft for all y'all. Without further ado, here we go. With the fourth overall selection, the New York Jets will be selecting pass rusher Jermaine Johnson. And the reason for this selection is because the first three picks were Trayvon Walker to Jacksonville, Aiden Hutchinson to Detroit, which should be written in stone, and Kayvon Thibodeau to the Houston Texans. Now, with the top three pass rushers off the board, you're probably thinking, well, Joe Douglas, we got to build that wall. He came in. He's going to build the old line. He's got to protect Zach. Yes, that's true. You know, and we could always use more offensive linemen in depth and everything. I mean, Becton, he just posted a video, floor bench 405. That's insane. I don't know many human beings who could do that. He looks ready. George Fant's coming off a career year. Second, you know, he's going to be entering the second year in the system. So we signed Lincoln Tomlinson. Connor McGovern played well last year, and AVT is AVT. He's going to be a stud. So offensive line is not one of those things where it's a desperate need. And yes, you know, I've heard a lot of people, a lot of analysts say, well, you know, you don't draft for this year, you draft for the year after and the year after that. Yeah, but the year after, the year at, like next year and the year after that won't matter if we don't win games. So we need to get impact players and to run this defense for Robert Sala, we need pass rushers. Now we signed Jacob Martin, who I think is going to be a great, great situational pass rusher. Throw him in there on third down. He'll get you four or five sacks on a season. You love that. He'll create pressure. Let's not forget about last year's big ticket item, Carl Lawson. I don't know if anybody was on Twitter yesterday and saw what this man posted, but by God, is he yoked out of his mind. He looks ready. He's ready to hunt. You get him on one side, JFM slides inside, Q coming off a, a great season last season, Sheldon Rankings, John also just happened to be one of the highest rated athletically scored DTs in last year's draft. Now he has a chance to flex his muscle. So the depth is there. Now we need some juice. Insert Jermaine Johnson from Florida State. 11 and a half sacks, 18 TFLs. Oh, you know, all he did was just dominate the ACC and just so happened to play for the Jets on their senior bowl roster. They know him intimately. They know what makes him tick. They know how to coach him. He responded well. He dominated the game. He dominated one-on-ones. He's ready. He's a baller. And listen, you need a pass rusher in today's NFL to affect the quarterback. Joe Douglas said it best. You know how you take a $30 million wide receiver off the field? You put the quarterback on his ass. All right? That's what you do. So you take the next best one at Jermaine Johnson. You've already coached him. You know what he's capable of. You see his ceiling. Boom, plug and play, D end, pass rusher, get after it. We skip ahead. We get to pick number 10. Oh, pick number 10. And I'm not doing trades because I, I don't believe the Jets are going to trade the, fir- the fourth or the 10th overall pick this year unless it's a it blow them out of their shoes type of deal. But with the 10th overall selection, the New York Jets select wide receiver Jamison Williams, Alabama. This dude is, without a doubt, the best wide receiver in this draft class. And that is before the injury, and that is after the injury. He just posted a video of him doing some running. That's insane. He just got hurt in January. He's already running. He's ahead of schedule. A lot of people have him missing some training camp, OTAs, training camp, and then the first couple weeks of the regular season. Probably they say three to four games. 
Now listen, I hear a lot of people, well, you know, the Jets need sure things and they got to start fast out of the gate in September. And you know, Wilson's going to need help and he, he's got to have someone to throw to to build that report to. Yes, you're absolutely right. But didn't Odell Beckham Jr. all those years ago miss a good chunk of his rookie year and then dominate the rest of the way when he was healthy? Yeah, when you have talent on the board and it's staring you in the face, you take it. We need a wide receiver awful. And since we may not trade for a number one, we may not get DK Metcalf. We may not get AJ Brown. We may not get Terry McLaurin. And that's all right. You take the next best one in the draft, and that is Jamison Williams. When this guy steps on the field, he will be Tyreek Hill light. He does the same things. Not only is he a burner, I mean, he gets a step on you, you're done, you're toast. But he runs crisp routes. We need a vertical element to this offense. Jamison Williams brings that. And just for those who are saying, well, he's not going to play right away, don't worry. We have two more premium picks in the top 40. As we do, 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 skip ahead to pick 35, here's where things get interesting. I wanted to have the Jets trade up for a falling player, but I'm not going to do that. We're not in the business of getting rid of picks right now. We need players. And you can get two future starters at picks 35 and picks 38. With the 35th overall selection in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select safety Jaquan Brisker out of Penn State. This dude is an absolute baller. You put on Penn State's tape He's flying all over the field. He's a leader of the defense. He absolutely dominated. And not just at the line of scrimmage. This dude can cover ground. We signed Jordan Whitehead to be our thumper, to be our prototypical strong safety. We re-signed LaMarcus Joyner, who graded out extremely well at free safety a couple years ago. He's back. He's comfortable. He was a priority re-signing for us, and I love that move. Some veteran leadership in the, in the secondary. But right now, we need a little bit of athleticism and a little bit of, uh, well, what do we say here? Thumping in the back end. You put Brisker with Whitehead, you might have one of the best young safety tandems in the NFL. He can cover. He can cover tight ends. He can cover running backs. He can play zone. He can play man. And he can hit and tackle. And that's what you need. Too often last season, Ashton Davis took the worst angle I've ever seen in my life. Overran it, underran it, outside looped it. Just whatever happened wasn't working. Cannot have him being a liability in the back end. Brisker steps in, day one starter at safety, our secondary nearly complete. We go forward three picks with the 38th pick in the NFL draft. The New York Jets select Chad Muma, linebacker, Wyoming. The Jets will tell you, we love our linebackers. We love what C.J. Mosley did, and they should. He's a boy. He's a stud. Absolute professional. Not worth his contract, but you know what? You eat it for a year, do what you got to do next year. Quincy Williams played okay. He's a missile off the edge. He can blitz. He can cover kind of well, but by God, does he get eaten up when he's trying to stop the run. Jamie and Sherwood flashed. Hamza and Nazruddin flashed. But they're sophomores. They're going to be sophomores, second-year players, coming off injury. How effective are they going to be? Hopefully better than their rookie year, but really, we need an impact player at the second level of this defense. You take Chad Muma and his athleticism and his coverage ability and Bam. You pair him with C.J. Mosley, there's nobody running around. There's nobody running away from us at tight end or running back. Well, No more screen plays where we're giving up 20, 30 yards because our linebackers don't know how to read it. Muma comes in. He's our day one weak side linebacker and our nickel linebacker on passing downs with C.J. Mosley, who looked good. You pair those two together. You have an immediate replacement in C.J. Mosley. You still are able to develop Jamie and Sherwood and Hamza Nasruddin and Quincy Williams, right? Another year in the system for them. 
and you're just building great depth and the value is too great. Our defense was horrible last year. We need to make it better. We need to make it better. And to finish this mini three round mock I got for you guys today with the nicest pick in the NFL draft, pick 69. Nice. You would have thought Joe Douglas was going to go three, three rounds without drafting an offensive lineman. Wrong. With the 69th nice pick in the NFL draft, the Jets select Cole Strange, guard center, interior lineman, we'll call him, from Tennessee Chattanooga. This dude is going to be a starter in the NFL sooner rather than later. He's a mauler in the run game. He's got experience across the line. He's a valuable chess piece where we can move him around. Great depth, high character individual. You're getting an offensive lineman starter in the third round. You're not paying a premium pick or eventually, hopefully, a, pre a premium contract for him right now. And you have an immediate in-house replacement for Connor McGovern. You have insurance for guard. You could even possibly try him a tackle. But this dude comes in. He's going to work hard. He's going to be great for the culture. And he's going to cost you a third round pick. You're going to find your starter now, you know, find your starter for next year. And God forbid there's an injury. You know, we were decimated last year. We need depth. And I think having this dude strange, who's been really good, really good, definitely under the radar. I would be, wouldn't be surprised if he goes in the second round. That's how versatile and dominant he can be. But the Jets love him. They've brought him in. They've worked with him. I, I've watched the film. I think he's going to be really good. You give him a year of seasoning, boom, McGovern's gone, in-house re replacement at center, bam. So as we review, we got Jermaine Johnson at four, Jamison Williams at 10, Jaquan Brisker, 35, Chad Muma, 38. And the nicest pick, 69, Cole Strange. Now you're probably wondering, oh man, what about wide receiver? You know, we got a double dip. We got a double dip. This draft is so deep. There were 10 individuals who ran a sub 4-4 at the combine. That's insane. Guys are going to drop. You're going to find contributors in the fourth round. Your boy just got to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini mock. Please like and subscribe for the best New York Jets content we have out here and i hope i made your morning drive just a little bit smoother love you guys peace and love